Alexander the Great, one of history's most iconic figures, lived a life that continues to captivate the imagination of people around the world. His remarkable journey, which began in 356 BC and ended prematurely in 323 BC, was marked by extraordinary achievements, unparalleled leadership, and a relentless pursuit of glory. In this extended article, we will delve deeper into the life, personality, and legacy of Alexander, exploring the key events and factors that contributed to his legendary status. Alexander was born in Pella, the capital of the Kingdom of Macedon, in 356 BC. He was the son of King Philip II and Queen Olympias. From a young age, it was evident that Alexander possessed a combination of physical prowess and intellectual curiosity that set him apart. He received an education that was tailored to groom him for leadership and greatness. His early education was guided by Aristotle, one of the greatest philosophers of the ancient world. Under Aristotle's tutelage, Alexander gained a deep appreciation for literature, philosophy, and the sciences. He was introduced to the works of Homer, particularly the epic poems, the Iliad, and the Odyssey, which left a profound impact on his thinking. The tales of heroes and adventures in these poems inspired Alexander and fueled his ambition to achieve heroic feats of his own. One of the earliest anecdotes that foreshadowed Alexander's future as a conqueror was the famous incident involving the Gordian Knot. In the city of Gordium, there was a knot tied to an ox cart, and it was prophesied that whoever could untie the knot would rule all of Asia. When Alexander encountered the knot, he couldn't unravel it by conventional means. Frustrated but undeterred, he drew his sword and sliced the knot in half, declaring that he had fulfilled the prophecy. This audacious act showcased Alexander's determination and willingness to defy conventional wisdom to achieve his goals. At the age of 20, Alexander's life took a momentous turn. After the assassination of his father, King Philip II, in 336 BC, Alexander ascended to the throne of Macedon. He inherited a kingdom that was already a formidable power in Greece, thanks to his father's military conquests and political alliances. However, Alexander had his sights set on much grander ambitions than merely ruling Macedonia. Alexander's primary goal was to fulfill his father's vision of a grand invasion of the Persian Empire. The Persian Empire, led by King Darius III, was vast and wealthy, stretching from Asia Minor to Egypt and into India. It was considered the superpower of its time, and its riches and resources were legendary. In 334 BC, Alexander embarked on his Persian campaign, crossing the Hellespont into Asia, with an army of around 40,000 men. His military campaigns are among the most famous in history. He led his troops with a combination of daring tactics, disciplined formations, and personal bravery. Time and again, Alexander demonstrated his willingness to lead from the front, sharing the risks and hardships faced by his soldiers. One of the early highlights of Alexander's campaign was the Battle of Issus in 333 BC. Here, he faced King Darius III in a pitched battle that would determine the course of the war. Alexander's forces were outnumbered, but his tactical brilliance and the sheer determination of his troops carried the day. Darius was forced to flee, leaving behind his family and treasures. This victory marked a turning point in Alexander's campaign, as he solidified his control over the eastern Mediterranean and began his push deeper into Persian territory. Another notable achievement of Alexander's campaign was the successful siege of the island city of Tyre in 332 BC. Tyre was a formidable maritime power, and its fortified island location made it a challenging target. Undeterred, Alexander devised an audacious plan to build a causeway from the mainland to the island using rubble, effectively turning it into a peninsula. After seven months of relentless effort, Tyre fell to Alexander's forces. This victory showcased not only his military prowess, but also his ingenuity and determination. After subduing Tyre, Alexander continued his march through the Middle East, ultimately reaching Egypt. In 331 BC, he was welcomed by the Egyptians, who saw him as a savior from Persian oppression. During his time in Egypt, 
Alexander founded the city of Alexandria, which would later become one of the most important cultural and economic centers of the ancient world. In 331 BC, Alexander faced King Darius III once again in the decisive Battle of Gaugamela. This battle would determine the fate of the Persian Empire. Despite facing overwhelming numerical odds, 